Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk quickly about how to create an assignment in Google Classroom along with a video attachment for the purpose of offline access. And so to do that, I create an assignment. And let's say this assignment is a Google Slides presentation. So I needed the title. Uh, I can add how many points it's worth. I can set the due date. And then I can set the topic. I'm going to call this virtual learning like so. The next thing I will do is add from Google Drive my slides presentation. And for this slides presentation that the students are going to fill out, they are going to each get a copy of their own. So that way they can fill it out and work it out. Now, there's also something else to keep in mind that in this slides presentation is actually a video lesson. And so this is just an example of that slides presentation. And then you can see on slide number five, it has a video. This is not going to be available offline, even though the rest of Google Slides is. And so in order to make a video available offline, you need to assign the video as well. So that way the student can access it. Now, the rest of your students that have Internet access, you know what they can do is they can just merely delete the video attachment. And so what I'm going to do is find I didn't mean to choose images there. I'm going to choose videos. And here's my video. I'm going to add it. And I'm also going to give the students a copy. So that way they have not only their slides, but they also have the video available offline. So now that when I assign this, the students will get both readily available so that way they can access them. Hi, in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about offline access with Google Drive and Google Classroom for virtual days. So if you have a student that cannot access their materials, you can push it out to students early so that way they can get to it. You're going to want to have enough time for it to be able to sit on the Internet so that way these items can be available offline. There's a couple of things that you need to do. Number one, you need to make sure that you visit Google Drive on the student device and make sure that offline access is enabled. So you click on the gear here and then you will go to the settings. And when you do so, then you will see an option to make it available offline. And here in the settings, this button right here should be enabled. If it has a dash through it, you might have to be patient for a little bit. Sometimes it takes a while for it to kick in. Um, and then if it absolutely will not come on for offline access, then what you may have to do is remove the user from the Chromebook and, and have them sign back in. All right, so number one, that has to be done in order for offline access to work. The next thing that you can do is, let's say the teacher goes ahead and assigns this, they go to the class, and then what they will do is they will go to their classwork, go to the assignment itself. Let's go ahead and open up the slides presentation that has been distributed to the student. And then a simple way that the student can access this is there's there's two different methods. One is to utilize the files app directly built within the Chromebook. And that's fine if you want to use that. The other way is to just bookmark this presentation. So if I grab a hold of this lock here and I drag it down into the bookmark bar, then it's available for offline access real easy. Um, sometimes it takes a moment to load when you use it that way, but it does work as long as it has been on Wi-Fi long enough that it can make it synced and available on the device. Now, there is a little caveat to this. This lesson here has a video embedded in it. That video will not work without internet access. So the teacher in this case also attached the video to the students that needed it. You don't have to assign it to all students. You could just assign the video as well that they need directly into Google Classroom just for those that need it. So for that to be available offline, there's a little bit of a trick. So they have to go to the Files app on their Chromebook, and they have to go to the Google Classroom folder in My Drive. So they find Classroom, and they're going to go to the class that has the assignment in it, which is my test class in this case, depending on what the class name is. And there is the video. See, it says WebM video. And to make a video available offline, you have to right click on it, two fingers at the same time, and hit available offline. And that'll allow the student to be able to access it. Now, 
from this point on, accessing it is fairly simple because here's what they can do. They can then go to the Files app and go to Google Drive and then go to Offline and you'll see that the video is right there ready to go and it does work offline as long as you've gone through those steps. This little trick with the bookmark does work pretty well. It works with slides, it works with docs, it works with sheets and Google Drawings. Video content needs to be made available offline via the Files app.